someone with reflexes. If only you were someone with morals. Morals don't win fights. All right, what's going on, guys? It's GSR here. So basically, I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, Cabal and give my honest opinion about Cabal and my thoughts on Cabal. I do believe Cabal is an S tier character, and I've always believed Cabal was one of the best characters in Mortal Kombat. Period, because of how they designed this character to play in every Mortal Kombat game he was ever in, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. He was in Armageddon. I think he was in Deception. Um, what else is there? Uh, you know, he. Even in MK9, his Nomad Dash cancel was a problem because he was definitely one of the strongest characters in the game. He had unbelievably good zoning. He could combo you off of his uh, uh, his gas blast, which is unfortunate because I would have loved it if they would have put it in this game. Um, what else is there? Um, in this game, he has no flawless by gaps whatsoever. It doesn't matter which string he goes for, he has none. So if I was to do all his strings right now, he has literally none at all. Like, this nigga is unbelievably safe on a lot of shit that he has access to, as you can clearly see here. So he's unbelievably safe, and he's highly effective. He has really good walk speed. His back dash, his forward dash is really good. Um, because as you can clearly see, you can kind of, like, wave dash in there. Like, you can get in really quickly if you want to. He has uh, pretty good zoning for the most part. And what's dangerous about his zoning is that if he manages to catch you like this, he can dash in, get him a little combo of his choosing call it a day and kind of like you know or he could just knock you on your ass like that and then that allows him to get in now the only thing that's kind of disappointing is that he doesn't necessarily have his down back one i think it is where he can jump into the air and throw a mid at you right um but he definitely has access to this to where like he can kind of like jump into the air catch you get a combo and if he wants to use another bar he can do that if he wants if it's going to close out the round and you kind of get the idea he has one of the best fatal blows in the game he literally teleports on the other side and he has armor on the bitch so i mean you know what more do you want um so he's just an unbelievably dangerous character like this this, this nigga is literally unbelievably fucking dangerous um what else is there uh his nomad dash cancel is pretty much the staple here it puts everything together that's pretty much what I'm meaning by that um, because he becomes unbelievably plus on block um, to where he can challenge you every single time. His frame data is unbelievably good as well because he can go for an Abare damn near every single time. Um, he's minus three, minus five, minus seven, minus four, uh, minus one. Um, and when he's minus seven on block, if he sees that you block the overhead, he can just commit into the full one and be minus four on block. There's no reason for him to just stay minus seven on block. Or he can use a defensive bar and cancel so he can be plus on block, um, which I will be showing you guys that very soon. Um, not only that, like I said, minus four, minus one, minus two, minus one, minus three, minus two, uh, minus five. Like the nigga is just the, sec the second safest character, and I think he's a lot more dangerous than Johnny Cage in a way. Um, now, of course, Johnny Cage in his outtake variation, he is kind of a problem. Um, and there is issues with that character that I might address in another video. Um, but let's continue on with this video. All right, guys, so Cabal's crushing blows are unbelievably easy to use and they're highly effective. Um, and he can get like a lot of damage on you um, with his crushing blows. And they have uh, interesting requirements because most of them are like a counter or a punish so it's just really easy for him to fuck you up in this game um and all of them are pretty much that so we look at his back forward one if it's a punish right uh we look at his other crushing blow here his down back four triggers if this attack is a counter or a punish so he, he everything that he does is very very good right and he's safe on top of that that's why i think he's an s tier character right um, it says triggers if this combo attack is a counter or punish. Um, same thing applies with his uh, back one, two, down two string. Um, triggers if this combo attack is a counter or punish. So this nigga is just unbelievably safe and super fucking dangerous with constant mids, good pressure, good zoning, good mind games. Um, even his back throw is very intimidating because you don't want to check the throw in the wrong direction because that's what's going to happen. And not only that, I'm in your face now. You see this? So it just causes all these problems. His, this string right here is highly effective as well. He can get a combo on you. Um, and if he wants to use a bar meter, he can to get extra damage. Easy 37%. Not only that, he can use a bar meter here. And if he has access to his fatal blow, well, you already know where I'm about to go. With this. He can cause major issues. I mean, this nigga is just, he's, he's dangerous, man. Now, for people who don't know, Cabal is like my top 10 favorite uh, character of all time so just to let you guys know that um but um yeah i mean 
<laughs> I mean, he, his crushing blows are dangerous as fuck, bro. Like, they're, they're intimidating because it's just like, nigga, like, everything is a counter or a punish, bro. <laughs> like, that's super fucking easy to do and requires no skill whatsoever to get out. So it's just like, nigga, as soon as you fuck up or you, or you, or you just fuck up in general and I whiff punish you, bro, you're going to take a fucking combo, bro. Like, it, I mean what more do you want <laughs> so uh i'm gonna talk about his jump ins as well he has one of the best jump in uh twos in the game um so he can obviously jump in just like this and i think devora is number one uh i think it's her jump in one but she has unbelievable amounts of range she can reach you like from right here i think it is but cabal has the second best jump in two i think um it leaves him unbelievably plus on block not only that he can kind of create a mind game like that by whiffing and shit on purpose and then hitting you with it um and as you can clearly see hold on let me see if i can get the correct space for this okay just a little bit back there we go you see that and he's in the correct range for his back one so it's just like nigga, plus frames including his back one and then on top of that since he's plus on block he can just walk backwards right and bait you to press a button or he can continue pressure or, since you're going to respect, he could possibly dash up, create that mind game with his throwing situation. So, like, say, for instance, I jump in like this. I can immediately dash up, hit you with a mid, and if I see that that mid hit, I can hit confirm that to a short combo, right? Or, you're going to respect so much, I can just dash up and grab you just like this. So, he can really, really cause problems for you. And if he knows for a fact that you're going to sit there and try to press a button because you think that I'm going to do those two options, guess what? Possibly a crushing blow, or I can wait for a brief moment. And then hit you with a crushing blow. You get what I mean? So it just causes all these fucking problems, right? So now I'm going to talk about, like, certain normals and certain strings to where he can actually space you out. And then I'm going to continue on talking about, like, how he can make himself super safe on block. All right, guys. So Cabal has fantastic spacing. Um, if he spaces out his 4-4 four four correctly, he becomes minus 3 on block. Um, and as you can clearly see here, I did this at close range and literally I have all this space. So if I space it out correctly, um, I become uh, minus three on block, right? And I could just move freely and do whatever the hell I want technically, right? Because Liu Kang's back one and his standing one's not going to reach me. His back three might, right? And um, as you can clearly see here, uh, he's minus three on block. Right, so I can create that mind game to where if you think I'm gonna space that out or you think I'm gonna, just gonna do it right here and that's it, I can easily just do this shit because there's a long delay here. So if you pay close attention to, uh, you know, uh, Cabal's uh, four four, look how delayed it is. See that? And if you look at his combo string, look how delayed it is. See that? There's a short delay in there to where he can kind of like catch you. You see that and catch you slipping and then he can knock you far away. Um, his back one is highly effective as well. This is one of his. This is his best far-reaching normal. Um, so he's minus three on block, but if he spaces it out correctly, he becomes minus two just like that. Um, and then if he knows that you're going to press a button because you think he's going to space it out, he can hit confirm that into possibly a combo. But if you block the full one, he's just going to do this um, and be minus four on block. And even though he's minus four on block, he can still go for in a bar eight because nigga, he can. He's super fucking safe. Um, his 4-2 is fantastic. Uh, he's only minus 2 on block at close range, but if he spaces it out, he becomes minus 1 just like that. Um, or 0 on block, just like that, if you space it out to the maximum, you know, space. You know, if you ma if you space this out correctly, like, all the time, like, it's very difficult for the opponent to do something. His back 1 is in the correct range, because if you press a button, he'll hit you. Um, what else is there? His 2-2 is really good as well because he's going to space you out with this as well. So he's just, he's unbelievably easy to use and he's highly effective in this game. So it's just like, this nigga is dangerous as fuck. See this? If I space it out like this, I become minus one on block. Close range, minus one on block. Um, see this? And his standing two is literally plus three on block. So, I mean, you know, he can, he can choose between which one he wants, right? Um, let me see if I can get this real quick. Come on. Okay, so it's spaced out, but I couldn't hit him. There we go. So, you know, he could space himself out. At close range, he could do this, or he can immediately do this right in front of your face, or he could kind of, like, back up, hit you with this, possibly, and everything that he has access to is pretty much complementing his crushing blows. Um, so that's really scary in itself. So let's talk a little bit about his Nomad Dash. So when he goes for his Nomad Dash, there's certain strings and certain uh, normals that he will use that will leave him unbelievably plus on block. So if he was to go for his 4 4, he's minus 4 on block. But if I, if I go for my Nomad Dash cancel, I'm plus 1, which means what? 
my seven frames standing one will no longer be seven frames it will literally be six frames and if you end up blocking this i'm plus one on block so i can go for some i can literally just go for this and now it will literally be eight frames you understand what i'm saying so he can make himself unbelievably safe on block his two two uh he's minus one not anymore you're minus eight so the reason why i'm showing you guys that is because i want you guys to understand that if he goes for his two two and he does this he's at a huge risk of getting punished so he's obviously just going to go for his two two or he's going to go for his standing two that leaves him plus three on block if he goes for his standing one there's no reason to do it because he's plus one if he cancels he's minus eight if he goes for his one one that leaves him minus three on block he's still super minus on block right if he goes for his minus five situation and commits into the full string he's safe he becomes zero on block to where he can cause a problem right um if he goes for his back one um at close range let's see what happens plus one if he goes if he spaces it out he's still plus one you see this so he's still really safe so that means since his back one is literally 15 frames and if he was to go for this again if we do like uh you know 15 minus like plus one or whatever it's it's literally 14 frames right so it's just a 14 frame mid just like Johnny Cage's forward four and shit like that. You kind of get the idea here, right? Um, if he goes for this, he's minus seven. But guess what? Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore, nigga. So he can kind of like, you know, continue pressure and do shit like that to you. You understand what I'm saying? Like he can kind of get in and like, hold on. Let me show you guys a clear example of this real quick. See that? And then he can kind of like throw you and shit. And he can make it really difficult for you to press a fucking button. You can press a button. Like, like it's not like you can't press a button after he cancels. It's not like you're at a huge disadvantage where you're like, yo, I can't do anything. Right? So when he does this, right, you can parry. Um, depending on what his frame data is, if he was to go for that, right, um, since he's zero on block and he goes for this 4-4, four, four, it's still nine frames, right? So Liu Kang has a seven frame standing one that can actually stop him from doing this, right? But the problem is, I'm mashing the standing one and look what happened. He gets hit. The problem is, for Cabal, is that if I know this information, right, he's going to get fucked up. If I backdash, I get hit. So you can obviously parry and get out of it. Um, jumping, that's not really an option, as you can clearly see here. Um, so if you go for any uh, slower normal, you're more than likely going to get hit. And you have to be really precise with your uh, hitting, or Cabal is going to be able to stop you every single time. So you have to be very careful, and you kind of get the idea there. Um, what, what other strings do I want to show you guys? Uh, his 4-2. Okay, so when he goes for this at close range, he's plus 3, right? If I space this out correctly, he's plus 4 now. So, <laughs> as you can clearly see... If you learn the frame data, nigga, that shit's going to dumb down. So say, for instance, I took it upon myself to be like, OK, so I'm plus three and I am plus four when I space it out correctly. So if I do like 15 minus plus three, that's literally 12 frames. If I do 15 minus plus four, that's 11 frames. That's an 11 frame back one. That's dangerous as shit. OK, especially for characters like Luke Kang that have short range shit. Liu Kang's best bet is to try and make good reads and 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 you know Liu Kang's back three or hitting this nigga with a projectile if he decides to back up or um and what I mean by Liu Kang's back three I mean like his best far reach normal which I believe is his back three I think um which starts up at 16 frames so Liu Kang's not really challenging Cabal. Cabal can make it really difficult for this nigga to do anything especially if you know the matchup um especially with the main variation that Liu Kang uses if you know the matchup well enough and stuff you can cause major issues for the Liu Kang player now technically Liu Kang can more than likely out zone Cabal so that's kind of a problem um and Liu Kang has good frame data too to kind of deal with this particular situation as well because he has a nine frame mid that's actually really good so you know Liu Kang has shit here to deal with this nigga so that's actually a good thing but there's other characters in this game that will have a problem right um a clear example of that is like Kotal Khan, right? That's 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 a no-brainer. Like Cabal is gonna fuck his ass up. Um, so Cabal can use his plus frames to either bait you, like he can kind of like do this, walk backwards and look for a whiff punish, or he can continue pressure and you know, uh, you know, just you know, just do whatever the hell he wants to do. You you know what I mean? Like you you kind of get the idea here, right? Um, he, he could just really fuck you up and he's unbelievably easy to use now I have a few friends of mine that want me to main cabal in this game and use this variation because they want to see me play as this variation for some reason and the thing is, is like 
when I made the video about Shang Tsung, I meant what I said. Like, you know, I'm kind of done playing this game for a while. But, like, since it was my friend's fucking birthday, you know what I'm saying, today, um, I guess I'll grant his wish. Oh, man. If we wasn't close friends, I wouldn't do this. Um, some of my homegirls was just like, yeah, man, you should keep making videos and doing tutorials and shit like that. And I was just like, all right. <laughs> that's all i said was all right like you know what i mean like i just this game just pisses me off man um i meant what i said i didn't want to play this game but since my friend uh for his birthday because I, I was gonna get him a gift and he was like the gift that i want for you is to keep playing this game now the other portion of my friends they don't play this game anymore they they play mkx and they play mk9 still and they play like the other games and shit they play street fighter those are the hardcore type of you know competitors you know what i'm saying they taught me some shit um and then i just improved on my own after that um but i you know i'm i'm getting sidetracked here uh just let me know if you guys want me to train with cabal completely and post up matches with this because my friend you know my other set of friends that play kind of casually and shit he kind of wanted me to keep playing this game and shit so i was just like oh man you're making it difficult for me man so, um, just let me know if you guys would really like to see me use Cabal in this game and stuff like that, and I'll probably consider it and stuff when I'm not super busy with work or anything like that. Um, so the last thing I want to talk about with Cabal, since I got sidetracked, was his pokes. Um, his pokes are really good. He has an amazing down four that has unbelievable amounts of range. He has a really high hit advantage, as you can clearly see here. So if you did it right here, that's automatic. Automatically, you're going to get hit. And then he can immediately dash up. So if he, if he managed to hit you, like, uh, let me see. Like, come on now. Like, right here, he can immediately chase your ass down like that and hit you before you can even press a button. And then on top of that, it's not like you can neutral crouch it like you're going against Johnny Cage that has a whole bunch of fucking highs. Like, no, nigga, like, he, if you neutral crouch, you're getting hit. So, you know, you, you know what it is. Um, what else is there? You're not going to go for his down three because, I mean, who the fuck is using his down three? Like, it's nine frames. Uh, it has a high hit advantage of 12 frames. What is he on block? Minus three. So he can go for an Abare. That's good. Um, his down, uh, his down one is a better option because he is minus four, but he can still go for a Nabare. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hit advantage is 11 frames. That's technically all he needs to jail you with, like, his mids and shit. Because he's gonna get you to respect after he hits you, because he can hit you with this. And if you disrespect, you're gonna get put into a combo. So you, you already know what's going on here. Um, what else is there? Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, man, with this variation. I mean... I don't really have much to add here because when he goes for his nomad dash cancel if you're going against a very experienced opponent they're not going to abuse this now there are opponents that will abuse this and it's going to be really predictable but you don't know what he's going to do and the thing about this that is mad interesting is, is that he could create a serious fucking mind game once you remember his frame data you do the math for it and you understand what his true frame data looks like um after you do all the math and shit like that and you write it down in your notebook or whatever like Say for instance, like, say for example, uh, let me let me see if I can show you guys a clear example before I end this video. So, say for instance, I did this, right? You know for a fact that I'm plus one, right? You know that, right? And you know that I'm possibly gonna cancel this or I'm just gonna space it out, right? So, it will become 14 frames if I decide to go for my back one again. So, if I did this, right, hold on. If I did this, you already know that you can easily hit me out of that technically or you can jump or some shit like that the problem with this is is that even though you know a small portion of things about my character like since i'm plus one on block right since i'm plus one on block just like this right and i decided to go for my back one again you know 14 i mean not 14 but 15 uh minus plus one is what 14 frames so if i go for my back one again it's 14 frames you know that right so you can either walk backwards and try to whiff punish me, or you could try and jump into the air, or you could probably hit me right then and there in front of my face, depending on what character you're actually using, right? So you're sitting here and you're like, okay, cool. Here's the problem. If you think I'm gonna cancel, you're gonna get hit with the second hit of this string. That is where the fucked up shit comes into play. Cause when he's plus on block, he can either hit you with a mid, or he can hit you with a throw. You understand what I'm saying? And especially if he's at close range, he can easily do shit like this, and it happens within a blink of an eye. You understand what I'm saying? So, just keep this stuff in mind. There's just a lot of 
creative shit that he can do to you. Uh, he can create a mind game, like a serious fucking mind game with you and cause major issues. But this video is going on way too long. Um, I got sidetracked in the middle of this video. I apologize for that. Um, but uh, let me know how you guys personally feel about this. Um, but like I said, I think Cabal is definitely one of the best characters in the game. He's highly effective. He's very dangerous. Um, he's definitely an S-tier character. I will be making a video about uh, Collector, and I'm still editing the video with uh, new Cybot Shadow Slide and stuff like that, so just bear with me. I'm kind of busy um, and stuff like that. But uh, with that being said, I love each and every last one of you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Uh, peace. Oh. Cabal wins. Flawless victory.